is Mark Leach of Metasynthesis and I'm the author of the Chemogenesis webbook. This short series of videos concerns Lewis acids, Lewis bases and Lewis acid base interactions, a concept that's extremely useful in understanding chemistry and chemical reactivity. In this fourth video, we're going to explore the Lewis acid base interaction matrix one cell at a time. Quick reminder, there are four types of Lewis base, six types of Lewis acid. These interact to give 24 types of Lewis acid base complexation chemistry. For example, S-Lumo Lewis acids interact with Lobe Homo Lewis bases to give type 7 complexes. We can map various types of reaction chemistry to the matrix. For example, cells 1 to 4 are all Bronsted acids. So reacting the four types of Lewis bases with the proton Lewis acid gives us Bronsted acids. We'll look at these one at a time. First of all, the proton plus the hydride ion gives us hydrogen H2. H2 is itself a Lewis base. And hydrogen H2 plus a proton can give us H3+, plus, the trihydrogen cation. If we look at the interaction of the proton with the extremely stable complex anion bases, such as the hexafluoroantimonate ion, we get George Ola type superacids, fluoroantimonic acid. This is actually made by reacting pentafluoroantimony with hydrogen fluoride. Next we come to the very well-known interaction of the proton H+, plus hydroxide ion OH-, which gives rise to water. This reaction actually represents a very large class of Bronsted acids. The hydroxide ion is a surrogate for a congeneric array of Lewis bases, ranging from the methyl anion to the iodide ion and the fluoride ion to the tin anion. On one diagonal of this congeneric array, we have hard and soft Lewis bases using the Pearson HSAB type analysis. And on the other diagonal, we go from strong Bronsted abstracting bases to very weak Bronsted proton abstracting bases. So we can protonate this entire array of conjugate Bronsted acids, but these Bronsted acids are also Bronsted bases, and these can be protonated to give us a further congeneric array of Bronsted acids. So it turns out that in the middle, species like methane, hydrogen fluoride, water, etc., are all amphoteric. They can behave as Bronsted acids and as Bronsted bases. Pi-homo species such as ethene, otherwise known as ethylene, can be protonated to give us carbocations, or technically known as carbenium ions. Likewise, benzene can be protonated to give the Wieland intermediate. Benzene is reacted with deuterosulfuric acid. This can be converted into hexadeuterobenzene. Next, we're going to look at some reduction chemistry, where here we're using the S-homo Lewis bases, hydrogen and hydride ion, as our Lewis base. For example, sodium cation plus hydride ion gives sodium hydride. Sodium hydride is used as a strong base in organic chemistry, and it is used as a nucleophile in inorganic chemistry. If we react onium ion type Lewis acid, such as the trimethyl oxonium ion with hydride ion, the hydride ion reacts as a nucleophile and we get dimethyl ether and methane. Boron trifluoride is a well-known classic Lewis acid. It's a species with a vacant p orbital and this reacts with hydride ion to give the tetrahydroborate ion the main synthesis of sodium borohydride. Sodium hydride is reacted with boron trifluoride to give sodium borohydride and sodium fluoride. Pilumo Lewis acids, such as the allyl cation, react with hydride ion to give the corresponding alkene. Heavy metal Lewis acids, such as palladium, react with hydrogen to give palladium hydride. This type of chemistry is being looked at for hydrogen storage. Moving on, now we're going to have a look at some main group chemistry. 
First of all, s lumo lewis acids plus complex anion Lewis bases. A classic example of this is lithium aluminium hydride, a complex of the s lumo lewis acid, the Li plus ion, and the tetrahydroaluminate ion, AlH4 minus ion, to give lithal. Likewise, sodium borohydride and potassium hexafluoroantimonate. Type 7 complexes constitute many of the bases and nucleophiles of organic chemistry, such as lithium fluoride, potassium hydroxide, sodium amide or sodamide, calcium carbonate, methyl lithium, and the Grignard reagent methyl magnesium iodide. Onium ions complex anion Lewis bases are an interesting group because the complex anion Lewis bases are often exceedingly poor nucleophiles. This enables them to act as counter ions to very reactive entities such as the triethyl oxonium tetrafluoroborate. This is a powerful alkylating agent producing Meervine's reagent. If ammonia is added to water, an equilibrium is set up producing ammonium hydroxide, a type 11 Lewis acid base complex. We're going to move our matrix to the left and up a bit to give us a bit more space. Some classic inorganic chemistry. First, transition metal ions with complex anion Lewis bases. An example would be silver tetrafluoroborate. The very non-nucleophilic tetrafluoroborate ion allows the Ag plus ion to express its character. Type 23 complexes constitute a huge group of compounds. This is typified by cisplatin, a PT2 plus ion surrounded by four lobe homo ligands. Cisplatin is an important anti-cancer agent. Some organometallic chemistry now. There are two general types of organometallic chemistry. First of all, we have the pi homo systems with s lumo lewis acid counter ions. Classic example would be cyclopentadienyl sodium, where the sodium acts as a non electrophilic counter ion to the reactive cyclopentadienyl cation and phenyl lithium. An extremely interesting group of organometallics, which has been a great deal of research over the past few years, has been the pi transition metal complex, typified by the allyl palladium chloride dimer. This type of complex involves d orbitals on the transition metal cation interacting with the pi homo Lewis base. A vast amount of organic chemistry can be described in terms of the Lewis acid base interaction complex. So first of all, we have complex anions with lobe lumo Lewis acids. Even though the BF3, BF4- minus is a null system, there are many examples of this type. Nitronium tetrafluoroborate. The nitronium NO2 plus ion is a powerful electrophile and requires an inert counter ion. BF4- minus is an excellent counter ion. Another example would be the interaction of an acyl chloride with aluminium chloride to produce the acyl cation with the tetrachloroaluminate counter ion. Lobe homo Lewis bases with lobe lumo Lewis acids. This is the area of SM1 and SM2 reaction mechanisms where the lobe homo Lewis base acts as the nucleophile and displaces a nuclear fuge from a delta positive carbon center. The acyl cation can interact with a pi homo Lewis base such as benzene in, in an electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction typified by Friedel-Crafts acylation. Complex anion Lewis bases are very non-nucleophilic and these can act as counter ions to highly reactive pi lumo Lewis acids such as allyl cation and the tropilium ion. Lobe homo Lewis bases interact with pi lumo Lewis acids such as the allyl cation. Complexation takes place to form the allyl bromide. A very rich type of complexation chemistry occurs between pi homo Lewis bases and pi lumo Lewis acids. Diels-Alder type cycloaddition chemistry. 
You can see more on the Chemogenesis website. There is a click to search Lewis acid base interaction matrix where you can explore this chemistry in more detail. To sum up, nucleophiles, Lewis bases, electrofuges, electrophilic substitution, eliminations, base catalyzed abstractions, curly arrows, Bronsted acidity, electrofuges. A vast amount of university chemistry can be mapped to and explained in terms of the Lewis acid base interaction matrix. Obviously feel free to go back and explore this video more slowly, one cell of the matrix at a time. Thank you very much for listening.